Okay, welcome back. So, right now I've been searching ice fire treetops, which I've just entered from the wrong. No, wait, there was a way out from the side, wasn't there? Yes, there was. Yeah, anyway, I'm searching it for an ink that I can use with that ink jewel. Check all of these and see if we've got anything. I think this is probably a lot more of an Easter egg room, but. I'm pretty sure at least some of these were names of software in the first game, so maybe you get to actually play the games they correspond to? I don't know. Let's try and see if I could like get knocked off so that I could go to that door, but I think it needs double jump to access. Well, let's see if I can make my way back across here. purpose at the moment. I mean, I mean, nice to have for sure, but okay, I need to remember that that platform will not hold. going to be annoying. Oh, that girl technically since those are female. Okay shuriken plus a whip is not enough to kill it. Based on that I should be able to deduce how much damage a shuriken does. So, what must do two damage and the shuriken does one, which is consistent with the first game I guess. <laughs> I'm good at falling in that poison lava. Probably even just easier to just come from the other side. It's just kind of boring <laughs> doing that route through the roots of the Yggdrasil. Okay, that was an epic fail for sure. Yep, so that pretty much confirms it. One damage from the shuriken, two from the whip. Excuse me, stop hitting me. Nice. 
Alright, you're out of my way now. I just have to wait till this one's not in a dangerous position. There we go. Second platform there is not stable. is actually kind of useless because there's not exactly anywhere I can go from here. So it looks like I do need to get back to the top anyway. And I can get up there but that's not going to get me back to the start of this area so no, it looks like we're back off to the roots of Yggdrasil. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, as I've probably said it 500 times by now. Yep, you go fall down there, Carbuncle. Okay, so let's see what else I can find. So in the first game you could use a ink jewel from anywhere for any ink, but it has some kind of interesting results if you mix up the ordering. There's an elevator over here. I should see where that takes me. First I get rid of this guy. Hmm, I should probably read that tablet. Ah, this room. Okay, but I know how to get past this room now, so... Let's read that tablet first, though. Of course, simply knowing here might not be enough, so... Okay, it's useful to know. I cannot jump onto that thing. to get across the door directly at the moment. So I might have to try something else to get across here. But that's not gonna work, but I should be able to just come out to the right from here. And that should get me to... 
Okay, I took that one a bit too fast. Okay, they don't have quite the same period, so... I should probably heal up before I try this any further, otherwise I'm just going to get across and then die right away and have to do it all over again. Uh, I reckon that might be the way to the boss room. I mean, it seems to be the only place I haven't run. Ah, uh, right, can't get to it from here. I mean, I will be able to once I've got the ice cape, but I don't have that yet, so... I need to come via the roots of the Yggdrasil. Is that marked in any way? No, I can't tell because it stays open. I think I've got the general idea of what I've got to do to get across there. I just need to actually pull it off, I guess. <laughs> oh, fuck off, skeleton. No. Good. Screwed up then. Ooh, have to get back there again. I hate these slippy floors. But I think it was Mulbrook, someone anyway, hinted at that there is a way to avoid slipping in this one. I presume I've just got to get an item. So in the first one, there was a slippery area, the graveyard of the giants, and there's nothing that could be done to get rid of the slipping. You just had to deal with it. But yeah, this is kind of implying that you can do something about it in this one, so I look forward to getting that item. had it. I can still get back from here. It's worth trying to like break that water to get that item. I might try that next actually. See if that gets me anything useful. Might not even be possible, but I'm gonna try. Nice if they gave you a shortcut to this area. I'll just try that if I end up back in that room anyway, rather than specifically going out of my way to get there. Well, 
will no doubt happen because this is a bloody hard room to pass this one I'm trying at the moment so like I can fight against the water current well enough. Oh well, I can rule out that being useful at the moment at least. And go back to trying to get across that chasm at the top. Got it. Oh, I just need to. Yes, okay. I just need to figure out how to get the chest open. Could be as simple as killing all the enemies, but... No. Oh, well, that was a bit of a waste of effort. But there should be more rooms above where I currently am. Oh yeah, now I've mastered it. I think what I want to do is first of all come back here with some more health. And that aside, aside from coming with more health, I think I need to go through the cold water there. And that might lead somewhere interesting. must be sick of seeing me make this journey from Roots of Yggdrasil to Icefire Treetops now. I still have to think to remember some of these place names. I guess it comes down to that the place names in the first one usually made more sense. I don't know. Anyway, let's go through the cold water then. Have I been in here? I'm pretty sure I have. Alright, this chick, Anana. Hmm. I mean, she's no teammate, but she's kind of cute. Oh! The 
hell? A green chest? And I can't scan it. What do I have to do to unlock it? Okay, it's not simply defeating the enemies. Okay, that doesn't suggest anything, but maybe this one. Nothing relevant to It's not just a scanning glitch until I leave the room. Ah, oh, might be that it didn't count me as defeating all enemies because those two went off the screen. Anyway, let's see. Let's try shurikening this guy at least. I don't know because it enemies respawn. Ah, I'll leave it for now. I've got other matters to attend to, specifically a journey through some freezing water. No, I can't swim against it there. Okay, so there's another grail tablet there. So now I'm wondering what that one does, or if it's maybe a matter of that every area's got two of them, one that's normal, one that needs the future app, I don't know. Um, is there anything else left to try in that? I suppose I could investigate that room that I go through to get to the water. Yeah, it looks like I'm just going to get zapped if I try anything there, but... The only way to find out really is to actually try it, and then the Eye of Divine Retribution, if it's still called that, is a warning that stuff will zap you, but it doesn't necessarily tell you what will or won't, so... Room is there. No. So I suppose let's investigate and see what happens in this room. What the heck? Alright. I was forgetting how these worked. What the hell? What did I even do to unlock that? It's not going to help me when I need to swim against it, I don't think. But let's see. No, I'm not taking damage at least. No, I'm just stuck now. Really great help that was. Okay. Time to come back to here yet again. <laughs> Still have no idea what I did to actually unlock that. I guess I'll rewatch the footage around that time and see if I can spot anything, maybe.
Wait a second. I remember this lava up here was no there wasn't with my Just in case I'm remembering wrong, but I don't think there was not. to use its spring again, so... Seems my immunity has worn off. They just respawn enemies and kill them to get some health regeneration. There we go. somehow make that ladder appear which it would seem the only way to do is to get up there now this must be something else that makes the ladder appear let's see what the tablet says There's a, a cycle thing there. So this probably isn't meant to be open for quite a while yet then. I guess my next question is whether this can lead to anything useful. that had lava like outside of ice fire treetop I don't think so I'm seeing a bit of water elsewhere but I suppose I'm immune to that as well oh hell it didn't have anything to do oh shit I've reached 30 minutes on this video so uh, I will better save and end this video 
Well, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.